Hello friends and welcome back to RimWorld. It's Astro here and we are chilling. It's it's kind of crude. Hey, last episode was just really relaxing. It was just, you know, happy. Happy? I don't know. If, well, I guess it was kind of happy. I mean, no one tried to kill me. That's always fun. Um, and I just sort of got to potter about and enjoy myself. It's very pleasant. Um, I'm worried about this corridor here, I have to say. I mean, it's nice that we can um, suicidal the fox. Why is your name suicidal? Who bonded you? Let's, let's who? Oh, I must have missed that. Anyway, um, so we've we've got a whole bunch of new foxes here that are um, sort of taking care of themselves and doing things. Hauling, uh, what is this? Hauling, releasing, and okay, cool. Uh, red fox, we want that. These two, we want those. Uh, suicidal, the red fox puppy. That's hilarious. That's I don't know. It's not really the greatest of uh, of pet names, but yes. Anyway, so I've just spotted that there is a slight problem with this here corridor. One, it provides a lovely attack point where people can just bust through a wall and find their way into my base. Two, it's got a freaking door in it, which is not. Whoops, uh, which is not what we want. We want to deconstruct that. And then we want to build a copy of this wall in its place. So who's doing some deconstruction around? Oh, blur, thank you. And then we're gonna pop one of these here. Not that we have enough uh, uh, blocks stored, but uh, I'm sure that we've got enough sort of stint. Oh, that's limestone. Um, what did I just select? Was it marble? I think it was marble. Oh dear. I might be in a spot of um, a spot of shortage so far as the old marble goes. We've got plenty of limestone. Um, I hear some. Let's haul them. Uh, hopefully the dogs will come out and pick all of that sort of stuff up, and then Zia can hack it up and turn it into uh, uh, into lovely stone or marble blocks that we can use to finish off the rest of our floors and just make things generally nice, generally nice and shiny. Good. Okay, so this episode, we've, we've got our research underway, which is bullying. Um, it's always nice to get that sort of stuff taken care of. We've got a bunch of gold here that we could probably let's just let's just get this indoors, hey? Um, I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's not like it's gonna go off. It's just, it, it, <laughs> gold doesn't generally spoil when it's left out in the open. Um, maybe sometimes it does. Maybe given enough time, it does. But it's generally fairly stable. It generally sort of looks after itself. Um, so, for the most part, I think iron-wise, or steel-wise, I should say, I think we've probably... We've finished all this mining. We've uncovered a few extra bits and bobs that we can grab later on. But for now, I'd like to see this become... Oh, Rex is going to do that. Okay. I'd like to see these components become the next main target for us because I want to get all of these sorted out. So we're going to need, what, uh, 12, 13, 14, and another 12 there. So, yeah, there's a good amount of components that we need. As a result, I think we might be well off to build another component table. But then that's going to require 14 components. Um... All right, let's let's try this. Zia, do us a favor. Um, Unification Terium League. Uh, let's try the Unification of Herelia. Um, these guys are wary of us, which is a bit rough. Um, hmm. No, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to spend silver to get them to come and visit me, and then they may not have what I need. So, I wonder. How are these guys actually doing? 32, 37, 25. Um, these guys can't get any worse, but that's fine. But they can get better if I, you know, capture and then release their dudes. Although most of the time when I capture their dudes, they... Oh, where is the... Maybe. When I capture and uh, their dudes after they've attacked me, they do tend to get um, dead. Uh, generally because of the fact that when they attack me and they're wounded... My dudes get wounded at the same time, and as a result, I then can't, uh, yeah, I can't do anything to help them. 
I need to treat my guys as a matter of priority. And I think that's fair. I don't, don't think anyone could, you know, really bemoan me for doing that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look in here, shall we? Because I would like to get some of these shield belts up and running. What do they require? Six components, 50 plasteel, and five uranium. Do I have any uranium? I think I do. No, that's jade. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I did at some point. Maybe I'm getting confused. Um, okay, so those shield belts are going to have to wait, I suppose. Unless... Was there... Alright, that's all jade. Did I spot some... There was nuclear material that I found at some point. Um, if I remember correctly, but I can't remember. Um, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. If we spot any uranium, we'll... Um, We'll grab it. Or maybe we'll find some while we're deep drilling, which would be quite nice. Um, there's a bunch of animals that are starting to turn up on the map now, which we can sort of uh, queue them up for a little bit of uh, gentle hunting. Uh, hopefully they don't mind. Hopefully it's, uh, it's um, you know, friendly and just a little bit of a tickle. Um, I doubt that it will be. It, it does require getting shot. And I'm, I'm assuming that getting shot hurts a bit. Uh, but I don't know. I've never been shot. <gasps> What's these? 85% grown. Well, I don't know what these are, but they've got little fruits on them now, which is pretty cool. So 86%, um, when it comes time for these guys, uh, when they're fully grown, it shouldn't take too long, honestly. We'll, uh, we'll harvest them up and uh, see what they do. Because, uh, yeah, apparently, rarely sprouting bush yields the ambrosia fruit, fruit Pleasurable to eat and produces a slightly addictive chemical warmth effect. Hmm. So we can stock those up and people can have a little snack every now and then when they need to have a bit of joy. What's this? Sky, Prime Counselor of Unification of Hyrelia, has informed us of a collection of valuable items not far from us. Uh, a vanometric power cell. Cool. Um, where is it? Over here. Okay. We could potentially make it to that. I assume that someone will be guarding it, though. But this might be... I'll tell you what. Once this antimatter reactor gets done, we'll do our first... Like, we'll get some packet survival meals set up, and we'll do our first little walk out into the world and see what we can do about finding some item stashes or something cool like that. Um, I think that that'd be fairly valuable. What was that? Fairly valuable for us to do. Hmm. Okay, just had a nice chat. Nothing nothing wrong. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can find some goodies from random other places around the world that we can use to our benefit. Uh, we're still waiting for this um, wall to be completed, which I'm a bit dirty about, but I suppose I did select to build all of these um, floor tiles through here, so that's all sort of sucking up all of my um, my marble blocks at the moment, which is a bit of a bit of a shit. It's a bit annoying, but hey, this is what happens. Oh, I can't wait to see this thing fire again. God, that was so good last time, but I assume that mm, I assume that people are potentially going to get stuck in there. And sort of not be useful. I'll tell you what. Hang on. I've got an idea. Let's do a little bit of uh, a little bit of chop wood through here. Get a couple of these trees out of the way. Just tidy things up a little bit. Because we do need a bit more wood. I don't think we've got... Eh, we've got a bit there. Um, got a few goodies. The next thing we need to do, I think, is we'll grab some security. And we'll put some deadfall traps. Just wooden ones. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. We'll just dot these through here. So anyone who comes in this side of the map... They can run through this gauntlet of deadfall traps. Uh, like that. Maybe a couple down this end as well, just in case. Um, there are still some gaps here, but that's fine. Um, and I don't think they usually come that way. They usually come in from sort of here and work their way through. But I guess we'll have to find out. We shall have to find out. Now... 
I saw a moment ago that our chooks are not doing well, and that's because we have completely run out of hay grass. So what we're going to do is there was an outdoor. Where was the outdoor animal zone? Uh, does that include indoors? I don't think it does. Or if it does, it's not too bad. So let's uh, let's put all of these guys. Oh no, they can, you guys can stay in the woofer zone. Put the turkeys outside. Um, they're going to be in danger. They might get you know shot when they get attacked. But honestly, I would rather them be able to forage about for some uh, some food. Ooh, I haven't actually. I've just spotted. I haven't changed this so that it restricts them from getting into those other crops. So what we might do... Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to fix this up. So let's change that zone around a bit. Uh, we're going to expand allowed area, outdoor animals. And we're going to make that sort of through here and through here. We'll just let them sort of cavort about and do whatever they fancy. Um, they can go through here. They can maybe not. Oh, shite. Um, outdoor animals. Okay. And this section down here, have fun. And this section down here, off you go. Because there's plenty of grass and stuff for them to nosh on. And now we need to make sure that the outdoor animals area does not include any of these crops. Because we don't want them snacking on the heel root and other relatively important things that we're uh, trying to grow. We also don't want them so they can come and go via here. That's fine. This... Don't want you going down that corridor. But they can come and go in and out of here. So they can get back into there. Get back into here. Fine, no worries. But out here is where they should be uh, hanging out the most. And this new grass that's starting to come through, they can get stuck into that. Have a scratch around. Have a sleep. All of that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. It'll stop them from starving. And then, you know, then eating all my veggies, of which I don't have any, which is pretty bad. How's this grass coming along? Ready to harvest. Okay, great. Uh, and these taters? 65%. Okay, so we should have some rice coming along in a moment, which we can use to cook up some more food. We keep making veggie mush. Um, which is fine. I suppose. I would kind of like... Uh-oh. 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 Things are happening. All right. So party, eclipse, hydroponics, basin. basin. Suddenly Sean Connery again. Uh, good. Great. Well, that's handy that that appeared right there. Completely out of range of this. Uh, and this. And this. Still, that's in range of that. Okay, great. All right. We're going to have to take this sucker on. Can I reinstall? Oh, I can. Oh, that's handy. So let's reinstall this here. Um, so that it can get some shots into this thing. Um, there is a slight fire, which is a problem. But hopefully it won't come too close to the base. There's not a huge amount of grass around at the moment to sort of carry it. So I think we might be okay. At least for the short term. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, a couple of these people and get them set up and ready to start firing on this prison ship. So, oh, this is in and done already. Wow. Well, thank you to whoever looked after that. Okay. We do need some power on it though. Strawberry plant has died because of poison. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so let's go. Zia. Mesa. Sam. You guys can be up here. Cactus, you can be in this little notch here. Lolita. Get down and man this browning machine gun. Uh, who else are we going to play with here? Sammy. Get over there. And Phoebe and Ghost and Tico and that. You guys can just carry on doing whatever it is that you are currently. Maybe we'll have Blur sit down here. So this guy, 
Stand by to... F oh. Okay. Never mind. Uh, Sammy. Whoa. Oh, you're in the poison. Okay, get back over here and then fire at this. And let's get this underway. Okay. Gordon Bennett. Yeah. How's it done? Ooh, look at these big 50 cow shots coming in. Uh, are you guys... Oh, everyone else has run away because of the poison. Um, okay. I'll tell you what. Fire at the centipede. Oh, there's a scyther there as well. Okay. We'll just fire at all of these guys. Sammy is sort of doing this all on his own at the moment, which is really not the greatest. I could have probably thought this out a little bit better, but it's okay. Um, Lolita, can you... Man this. What do we need to make this do the do the pure pews? You can set force target. Oh, yep, that does the trick. Beautiful. Cotton plant has died because of poison. Well, I'm, Sammy, I'm glad we didn't take away your um Uh oh. He's not doing well, actually. This is oh hello. You set him on fire now, which is good. Come on, Sammy. Um, get back here. Oh. Alright. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Take him down. A one-man army. Set him on fire again. These guys, how they doing? Left hearing sensor shot off. Left arm shot off. They're being burned. This guy's taken a whole bunch of 50 cal shots. But still doing... Okay, moving and manipulation are very poor. It's currently now shut down. Or it's it's downed. Now we just need to get this scyther out of the way. Good. Whew, that worked out rather well. Lolita, you can go about your business. And, uh... Oh, hang on. We need to destroy this. Sammy, before you go, can you just fire this ancient ship until it's destroyed, please? How's your, uh, how's your health? Death in 23 hours. Alright, don't worry, mate. We'll have you back before. Okay, good. So, unrecruit. And let's get you into a bed. Oh, Mazer, did you get hit as well? Hmm. Huh. You poor darling. You'll be right. Don't worry. We'll get Muse to come and uh, look after you guys. And make sure that you are healed up, <clears throat> excuse me, healed up and back to normal before you know it. Uh, so these chaps, modifications, add bill. Let's try, I want to try this. Right blade. Um, and this big boy, we can just shut him down and then pull his guts out. And use them to uh, build more cannons out of, which is pretty hilarious, honestly. Um, but yeah, I want to try and take this guy's scyther blade off. Because I'm pretty sure that you can use that as a weapon. And I'm pretty sure that you can equip it to a dog. So, that'll be fun. Let's let's see what happens when that, uh, when that job rolls down the line. Sam and Cowboy are, uh, are friends now. Cowboy's one of the, uh, the foxes. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, God. That really was quite devastating, that poison. That's the closest it's been to the base before. I'm not really thrilled about how much damage that did to all of these strawberry plants and this hay grass. Um, and probably, you know, judging by the bloom here, that heel root's probably been nuked by it as well. So that's not the best. But thankfully, it's all taken care of now. It's all done and dusted. Oh, another one. An anti-grain warhead. Huh. Cool. All right. Um, and this, th this thing is just so delightful to watch in action. The big boy did take a lot of hits from it. Oh, it's broken down. <laughs> Never mind then. Um, the big boy t did take a lot of hits to uh, to bring down. So hopefully we'll be able to do that a little bit quicker next time. Okay, so these guys, we can now gather them up. Where did that scyther blade go? 
Has it been placed into a rack somewhere? Uh, I guess it has. I don't know. I hope it hasn't been brought into here to be dismantled. And there is the possibility that that's going to be the case, but I guess we'll find out. Let's check um, on my animals list. Which was the dog? Was it Miyumi? Missing a tail? Oh, yeah. Install Scyther Blade tail. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's going to be nice. Uh, if they haven't already destroyed that Scyther Blade, but I guess we'll find out. Good. Okay, so that should take care of that. Veggies are back. So we're good on the veggies now. Uh, now we're bad on the, the meats. And a mad animal has arrived. Sam, of course, is having a smoke leaf binge. Oh, the mad animal's already been killed. That doesn't uh, surprise me. He's probably walked into one of my many turret farms. Um, we do need to keep ourselves hunting because at the moment we are doing very poorly for meat. And I don't like being in that situation. So we'll just queue up a bunch of little furry friends for um, acquisition. I could use rabbits, I suppose. Could tame some rabbits and just have them breeding like crazy. Um, and using up all of their, uh, their meat to uh, feed my dudes. But... Um, Ugh, I've got enough animals at the moment. I've got and I've got enough animals that I need to worry about and look after. So I think let's just leave it where it is, enjoy ourselves, and yeah, carry on. Because if I just keep Oh my god, things are breaking down all over the place. If I just keep thrashing out um Um If uh sorry, if I keep adding animals to my base, uh then I, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna keep running out of food no matter which way I do it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna build a copy of this. We need to get more components in this place, and we need to not. Okay. Well, it's time for a raid. Where are they coming from? Up the top here. So they're gonna probably try and break in through this. Oh, I didn't read what that said. Um, that's a bit of a a bit of a bugger. Uh, so I don't know if they're gonna use sappers or if they're gonna come at me bro well i guess what we're just gonna have to do is um you know next episode we'll um we'll deal with that and sort of figure out which way it's going to come and just i don't know run around and see what we can do to fix it anyway guys thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i do hope you'll uh join me again next time when we take down this uh this group of raiders who are about to come and play with us all right guys catch you next time bye